With the state set sequences rendered to disk, you now take a look at how they are organized using the compositor view. Click the compositor menu on the state sets floater. Notice the two compositor view entries, compositor view and compositor view RE. RE stands for render elements and should be used with any scene where you have set up render passes, as is the case here. To view the difference between the two modes, start with compositor view. The state sets floater expands into a new UI reminiscent of the slate material editor. The various rendered sequences appear as nodes wired to the composite output. Notice that you only have nodes related to the state sets names, as in one render sequence per state set. However, on a couple of occasions you rendered passes for self illumination and transparency using a matte pass. These don't appear at this time. To see all render sequences and passes, use the Compositor View RE option. Now you have more nodes that also take into account the render passes you set up on two occasions. The final output at this time shows only the last rendered sequence layered on top of everything else, in this case, the ARM ambient occlusion output. You need to change the blending mode on some of these layers to get the output to display correctly. Ultimately, you can do this type of work in After Effects, but you can also test it here before exporting. So, at the compositor output level, you can expand the individual layer rollouts and adjust the blending mode. Start by setting the AO layers to multiply mode. You also need to reduce the math pass opacity to 20 or 30 percent. This will give you a good starting point until you refine this value in After Effects. As for the Vault Self Illumination Pass, its blending mode ultimately needs to be changed to show a glow effect. It also needs to sit on top of the Vault's Beauty Pass to affect the scene. You could rewire the nodes to reorder the layers, but this is often easier to do in After Effects, so we'll work on Self Illumination later. You are almost ready to create a link file for export purposes, but before you do that, let's revisit the security panel object. As mentioned briefly before, the security panel is a simple flat plane primitive named Bioscan. Plane primitives have a distinct property in that they are recognized as solids in After Effects, making their manipulation easier. For that to work, you have to define them as part of an object set along with other special objects such as cameras and lights. In this tutorial you will not need to handle light properties in After Effects, but you will export the animated camera and the Bioscan plane. Make sure no state set is active. This essentially means that the scene is displayed and set up as it was when you first opened the file. Also make sure that no objects are selected by pressing Ctrl D. Click the record icon next to the object set. This makes that set current and all objects disappear from the scene. Using unhide by name, unhide the bioscan object under the door left hierarchy and also the camera and its target. In this tutorial, these are the only objects that need to be part of this special set. Click the objects record icon again to deactivate it. If you wish, you can also deactivate the set to go back to a full screen display. To create a link file, go to the Compositor Link tab. Click the Create Link button and specify a path and a file name such as Vault Scene. The link file has a .sof extension. It's primarily an XML file that you can open and edit in a text editor such as Notepad in case you need to make changes. A typical change may be a path change. A simple search and replace can take care of that easily. With the link created, the next step is to open the sequence in Adobe After Effects. In order to do that, you need to set up After Effects to enable it to read Autodesk.sof files. For that, you need to manually copy a few files to certain folders. This is what you will do in the next movie.